Okay, I bought this Sur La Tabla uh, espresso machine with dual boiler heating system from Costco for $400. Uh, this is my review and I will just cut to the chase from the very beginning. This is the best espresso machine at this price point that I've ever tried. I've, you know, it's better than anything that uh, Breville puts out outside of probably the dual boiler system because that one you can replace parts if it eventually breaks down while the other ones there are, you know, espresso appliances which means that when they break down, you are basically screwed for the most part. Um, but because this is from Costco, this is better, okay? Overall, it's better for what it, it comes from Costco, which means it has their forever warranty for the life, like forever. So if you have a problem with it, say something goes out, you can... It has a one year warranty for repairs, but if you have a problem with it, you can always just return it to Costco and they will swap it out or give you your money back. So that, those other machines, Breville, you'll be, out, if you're, you know, warranty repairs or if it's outside of warranty, you are screwed. You basically would have to buy a whole new machine or it's, or it's gonna be pretty, you know, pricey. But for these, this machine right there for the whole, you know, forever warranty, that makes it a killer deal. Also, it, another area that is better than, say, a Breville Barista Express, which is like $600, $700. This machine has two thermal coil or thermal blocks or thermal block heating systems, one for brewing and one for steam. What you will see when I make a drink is that this thermal block, they are exclusive to each other. So when you turn on the heat, you can brew and steam at the same time. When it comes to the steam though, it is dry, like Sahara desert dry, like using the barista express or using the other, like a single boiler system or these other gastro backs, or Gastroback Offshoots or Amazon Commercial Barista or Cafalon Temp IQ. They're all basically the same thing. They're made in China like Breville is for most of the machines. Um, but when you brew and steam, when you steam, it injects more water. For this machine, it doesn't. It's very dry. It's bone dry. So I actually have to, since I've gotten this, picked pick this up recently, I have to relearn how to, like basically create microphone because it's it's not putting as much water in there so it's gonna be very dry you're basically gonna it's gonna warm it up and you have to kind of relearn your techniques and probably try to do it better if you're used to those machines and you're exclusively on a Breville Barista Express or something along those lines and you transition to this one so this machine is fantastic uh, it has a pretty good uh, grind or two it's a 30 step like all the Cathlon these uh, machines, the Gastro Pack, all of them have the integrated grinders, 30 step. So um, allows you to fine tune. I have it started at 15 to come in there. Um, first time grinding it, great. Um, let me see, also turn it on for it can, to heat up. But when you brew as well, you'll see that it shows you right in the middle, the bar, this little knob should go in the middle. That's showing you at the optimal temperature, or which is nine PSI should be right in the middle and if you grind and tamp and everything like that it should be fantastic let me hurry up and set this up you see also this has a built-in integrated shot timer as well as a steam timer so you'll know how long it takes you to and grind timer and basically uh, when it comes to temperature you can uh, adjust the temperature but you also have volumetric controls where you can pro you only have one level. So if you set up your grind setting, you can program it for how much will come out for ground, grind one and how much will come out for grind two. The same thing can happen for single and double shots. Um, again, because this is the same steam on water and steam comes out of here, but this one will be dry steam. So, and it also be a lot quicker than machine but you also have to wait for this to heat up. This other one, uh, like the gastrovac systems, you'll hear it gurgle and stuff. 
And this one's gurgling right now, but it's a little different because it's a different thing. And this machine is about three pounds heavier than the Amazon commercial, the Cathlon Temp IQ, which would suggest that it is, you know, because of the additional thermal block. Also, let me, you know, things, this is very programmable. You can also program temperatures. It's in Celsius and the manual will tell you the actual Fahrenheit. It goes up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me see, you hold down the menu button for a few seconds. So right now I have it 92 degrees Celsius, 94, 96, which is about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. This is for your wider, like blonde roast, you know, or taste preference. If you get darker roast, it's gonna be a lot, it's not gonna be as good. But you can go down to 90 for your black dark roast, really dark roast. Temperature, you know, the 90 degrees uh, Celsius, which is a good temperature. Uh, it's like a 192 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for brewing dark roasts. I actually have the machine. I just swapped it out. I put it to 92 degrees because I usually brew at that temperature. Um, but yeah, and then when you set it, when you have your whatever temperature you want, you hit that and you set it and it's there. Okay, so let me actually brew two cups. I'll first do a regular espresso shot, and then I will follow up with a actual uh, milk-based drink. Okay, after getting the actual cups that I'm gonna use to make the actual espresso shot, uh, these cups right here, these come with the actual, <clears throat> sorry, actually saying actual a lot, these machine, uh, these actual cups come with the tiramisu from Costco. I love these cups. I like the dessert, but I also found another use for these cups. I'm like, how can I use these? Damn, it pops right in there. That's your dosing cup right there. The grind, as opposed to putting the porter filter in there and making a big mess, I always found this to be much more convenient, a lot easier, as well as having the dosing ring that I can use. To actually warm up my porta filter as opposed to running water in it, kind of, uh, because I use the water from Costco for the machine. I don't use tap water. I always use tap water to warm up the cup. And what I do, I microwave that for three minutes uh, with water in it, not with the metal. I'll drop these in here with the, into the boiling water so this can warm up the dosing cup as well as or the dosing funnel as well as the to filter so and then I'll put that in there set this up um, but I'm gonna use this for the milk based drink okay and I got those from um, kind of from some store or whatever it doesn't matter um, but yeah got these from Costco as part of the tiramisu so let me set this up first so it has timer two for grinding when you do I, I tried out with I don't even bother with grind one uh, because I never make a single a single dose. And you only get two baskets, you get a single and a double. Uh, Non-pressurized baskets. So this is not gonna be like the uh, other pressurized machines that, you know, Gaggia or Classic or whatever, where they give you a pressurized basket because the pump is not as good or to compensate for poor grind size or anything like that. This is all non-pressurized. So, Hopefully it turns out really well. Okay, hit the grind. Let's see. Put this out here first to get the measurement down to zero, just to make sure. Okay. So hit that grind. So I have it on 15. I haven't adjusted it yet, so yeah. Okay. Have my grind right there. So let's put it on here. How much is it? Oh, switch it over to. So it's 19.11. Okay, 19.1. Okay, put this in here. And then drop the thing there.
this is the actual, you know, I'm not <clears throat> tamper, I'm not gonna be using, I could use this one, I like this one, because this is the one that came with my GE profiles, really, like, good as a tamper. This is the one that comes with the actual machine, and it's basically the one that came with the Amazon commercial, as well as, you know, other machines like it. So, not the uh, Gastropack 4 2 or not Gastropack, not the Kaplan Temp IQ, that comes with a plastic tamper, so... I don't know why they're selling this machine at Costco because this is so far superior than that um, Kaplan Temp IQ. It's not even funny. Um, but yeah, okay, press on this. It's also cheaper. Press this down. Pop off. Put some funnel. Make sure. Get that in there. Pop that in there. Okay. And set this up. Okay. And it's a grams double. There you go. Let's see. Come out a little fast. So right now, it's, the pressure is a little going up there. It's reaching up to 12 bars. Probably because there was a little bit more coffee in this one. So I have to adjust the grind speed. Okay. Has a three-way solenoid valve. Okay, so there's that. So I'm gonna move it. So put out 74 grams. So I have to adjust how much comes out because I just this is the first time. So this is you know single double shot right here. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. So, okay. Now let's make a milk base drink. Okay. You gotta set up the same thing again. Oh, wait. Okay. Gonna have to set up for the milk base drink now. Okay. There's the actual little damp, but it's. There's no soupiness, so I don't know what people are saying is soupy. So this is actually, it looks pretty good. Pretty clean book. So clean this out. Okay, put this back in here. Okay. Okay, now let's try this again. have my milk right here. Okay. Let's get this going. Okay. Pop this out. Actually, it's pretty easier to tamp down with the, the one that came with it. The Tamper, because it's skinnier, it's easier to spin this one, it's thick. It's good if you get in a fight, you kind of pop some with it, but this feels more easier to use. Okay, okay press this down. Okay, pop that in there. Get that going. Okay, and, oh, crap, press the wrong button. That was not good. I'm gonna have to clean that up, but oh well. Okay, start this. Because this is dry, I can just turn it right on. That's one.
This is a single hole, so I'm still working on my technique, especially on video, but yeah. When you when I turn this off, you're not going to hear the boiler dump out because that's kind of cool. So now I'm stretching the milk. Submerge it. Oops. Because uh, this is a, a dual dual thermal block, in comparison to the other machines, it actually feels like it takes a little bit longer, or maybe to brew or steam the milk. But it actually gets hot, and it actually makes pretty good. It makes really good microphone. So wait for it to get hot. I can hear the boiler dump out, which is cool, which means because this is a tool or the thermal block dump out, so that's good. It saves more, it saves more water, which is an excellent feature. And you know, make sure to clean this off. Whoop. See, put this on here. There's like no, it's damp, so it's actually pretty. Good, it's dry compared to the other machine, other machines of this type. So I find this pretty good. So I'll clean this off. Make sure. Oh, this. Is... Get this all cleared up. So yep. So this is uh, this is not insulated, so you will get burned if you touch this. So you have to make sure you touch this. Okay, like a Ranchilio Silva. So I just have to make sure I get this all stirred up. Okay. And let's see. It's over here. Okay. Yeah, I need to work on my broth and oh I got a pretty good cappuccino, so or latte with no latte art so I still have to work on this so and this is probably the best foam I've gotten this is my third time using the machine so I have to relearn everything with this machine mm. really good so yeah I love this machine uh, for $400 it is by far the best espresso machine I've had tried and I would highly recommend it for anyone that wants to have pretty good espresso, have the Costco Forever warranty, and you know don't want does doesn't want to break the bank. So, and this thing heats up pretty quickly, and I enjoy it. So this is something I would highly recommend to buy.